What's up, everybody? It's Mary Circus Vault Training. So excited to give you this hourglass figure workout. This is all about your core, your obliques, your back, everything that's gonna give you that tight, pulled in core that you were looking for. So make sure you stick with me to walk through all the exercises and there are no excuses to get into this workout right now. All right, here we go. First exercise is a mountain climber. So once you get down into a push-up position, okay? Down to this push-up position, and we're gonna be pushing our knees forward. So there's a couple ways you can do this. This way, you can also put your leg down so your foot comes down. You can also put your knees down and then bring your knee up. Surprisingly, this one's really hard, especially for your, your deep lower abs. So if you wanna switch it up just because you can do that, even if you are advanced, it is hard. I promise you, you just need to flex. Second is a plank knee to elbow. So be in your plank position, okay? From here, you bring your knee up. So side to side, you're crunching as far as you can. So it's really a lot of pressure on your core. If you need to, just go ahead, put your knees down. Okay, and I want you to just push your knee up like this way. Same thing. This one is really hard to do because it's a lot of flexibility and it's a deep lower core. So if you're looking some like those V lines, it's exactly what's gonna get you if you're doing those modified version of the, the uh, knee to elbow. Then we're going a side plank pulse. So a couple things that you can do here can be on your elbow, like an actual plank, you can stagger your feet. We're gonna do is dip your hips down and come up, dip, come up. So a lot of your obliques. Same thing on the other side. So if I was gonna do it this way, you could see it from my back, you know, what you're, what you're actually working on this side here. Or you can go on your arm and you're gonna get much more of a dip there. So you could stagger, you could dip down and then come up. You could also dip down this way and come up. So the side plank, there are a bunch of variations that you can do. I wanna stick with elbow, staggered feet. If you need to just take a rest. Then we're going lying heel taps. So pretty self-explanatory, lying down, tabletop position, you're just tapping your heels down. Important that you pull your core in. So if you have had babies, your, your core is gonna be compromised. So I've got a line here. If I don't pull my core in, it's gonna open up and it's very apparent when I do that. So I'm really focusing on pulling my core in as I'm tapping my heels down so that I can really pull everything in. If you need to, you can pull your, your chin to your chest to keep that tight. Then last but not least, we're going a crunch twist. Kind of like a Russian twist, but you're actually gonna be extending one leg. So the advanced version is up and you're extending and coming back and forth, crunching. The intermediate version would be one leg and then come out. So same thing from this side, back and back. And then the beginner version is just touching your knee and elbow together. So those are all your exercises. We might get a bike. She went behind. I know. It's just hopefully, hopefully we'll see something superimposed funny because you didn't know what that was. <laughs> Somebody rode behind on a bike. We're on a beautiful bike path right now. But regardless, we're gonna get into this workout together. First things first, mountain climbers, 30 seconds. Ready? And three, two, one, and go. So stepping up. Really pull that knee in, you're doing this. If you're like, oh, these are too easy. Okay, speed it up. If not, really slow and controlled. Or think about knees down, come across those super deep abs. I promise you, even if you are advanced, these are hard. Good, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Rest here, stomach should be tight already. Going plank knee to elbow, here we go. 30 seconds, ready and go. Up and pull. Take your time, hands down, pull back. Pull the core in, do not let your hips sag when you do this. Pull it in and back. Breathe in and back. Can you put your knees down? Up and back, still super hard. Back, good. Breathe, breathe, same thing here. Up and back. Big breath, up and back. One more, up and back, good. Breathe here, stretch yourself out if you need to. We're going those side pulses on your side planks. We're gonna 15 seconds on each side. So I'm gonna start here staggered, dipping down and pulsing. 
dip down, pull the core in, pulse up. Use your core in your hip to pull yourself up here. Breathe. Now hold it as high as you can. Flex, open, you're gonna switch sides. Three, two, one, don't fall. Switch over, stagger, 15 seconds, pull, pull, okay? See if you can pull yourself up where you're almost rotating. That's where you're really gonna get a lot of this ab work. And hold it, five, arm can go up, three, two, one. And I want you to transition. Take a big breath, you need to stretch yourself here for a second. Stretch out for a second. We're going those lying, make sure you don't mess up your mat. Those lying heel taps. Big breath on your back. Take that breath here, just tap and tap. 30 seconds. Put your head back, but you must flex your core. You've got to do this, because if not, you're going to have a lot of issues developing in your lower back. You don't want to do that. Big breath. This is too much. Just go one heel down. Remember, this is 30 seconds here. You don't need a timer. Just listen to me. Good heel down, come up. Heel down, come up. Big breath. Line crunch twist next. Okay, three, two, one. Sit up nice and slow. Take a breath. Take a second. Doing this crunching twist. 30 seconds. Three, two, dust yourself off. One, and across and back. Across and back. If you need to, remember, just come from here so you can see that I'm still getting a lot of work because I'm trying to extend up and back. Crunch and twist. If you need to, keep one down, okay? Just crunch and you're twisting and twisting. Same thing on this side, twisting and twisting and twisting and twisting, good. And twisting, good. Take a big breath, reach up to the sky. Go one, two, three, four. Pull your core in. Take a big, deep breath. Because we're going into mountain climbers in 10 seconds, but I want you to stand up to get back down. The reason why I do that, because you want to be functionally fit. You're never just going to be down all the time. You're going to have to stand up to do something. So let's do these mountain climbers. And ready, three, two, one, and go. Cross. So stepping up. Really pull that knee in. You're doing this. If you're like, oh, these are too easy. Okay, speed it up. If not, really slow and controlled. Or think about knees down. Come across those super deep abs. I promise you, even if you are advanced, these are hard. Good. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Rest here. Stomach should be tight already. Going plank knee to elbow. Here we go. 30 seconds. Ready and go. Up and pull. Take your time. Hands down. Pull back. Pull the core in. Do not let your hips sag when you do this. Pull it in and back. Breathe in and back. Can you put your knees down? Up and back. Still super hard. Back. Good. Breathe. Breathe. Same thing here. Up and back. Big breath. Up and back. One more. Up and back. Good. Breathe here. Stretch yourself out if you need to. We're going those side pulses on your side planks. We're going to 15 seconds on each side. So I'm going to start here staggered, dipping down and pulsing. Dip down, pull the core in, pulse up. Use your core in your hip to pull yourself up here. Breathe. Now hold it as high as you can. Flex, open. You're going to switch sides. Three, two, one. Don't fall. Switch over. Stagger, 15 seconds, pull, pull, okay? See if you can pull yourself up where you're almost rotating. That's where you're really gonna get a lot of this ab work. And hold it, five, arm can go up, three, two, one. And I want you to transition. Take a big breath, you need to stretch yourself here for a second. Stretch out for a second. We're going those lying, make sure you don't mess up your mat. Those lying heel taps. Big breath on your back. Take that breath here, just tap and tap. 30 seconds. Put your head back, 
but you must flex your core. You've got to do this because if not, you're going to have a lot of issues developing in your lower back. You don't want to do that. Big breath. This is too much. Just go one heel down. Remember, this is 30 seconds here. You don't need a timer. Just listen to me. Good heel down, come up. Heel down, come up. Big breath. Line crunch twist next. Okay, three, two, one. Sit up nice and slow. Take a breath. Take a second. Doing this crunching twist. 30 seconds. Three, two, dust yourself off. One, and across and back. Across and back. If you need to, remember, just come from here so you can see that I'm still getting a lot of work because I'm trying to extend up and back. Crunch and twist. If you need to, keep one down, okay? Just crunch and you're twisting and twisting. Same thing on this side, twisting and twisting and twisting and twisting. Good. And twisting, good. Take a big breath, reach up to the sky. Okay, three, two, one. Hold it, twist, open, roll the neck out, stand up. Take a big breath. And that was your hourglass figure workout, all about the core, all about the hips and those obliques. So if you like this workout, make sure you check out all of the other ones and all of Coach Grace's workouts, and I'll see you guys on the next one.